Welcome to Viewing and Saving Records with Ancestry Library Edition, brought to you by the Halton Hills Public Library. This video will show you how to view records that you find while searching Ancestry Library Edition, and the various ways that you can save the records to add to your family history research. If you need help accessing Ancestry Library Edition or learning how to search the database, see our other help videos in the Researching Your Family History series. Ancestry Library Edition provides several options to view a record. For many records, there is a scan of the original document, as well as a transcription of the text to make these historical documents easier to read. The name of the record in the search results is a link that will take you to the documents page. View Image will open a scan of the original document. You can also hover your mouse over the name of a record. This will bring up a preview screen showing the transcribed details of the record. This is a quick way to determine if this is a record of the person for whom you're searching. If this is a record that you want to view, then you have the option to click the green button to view the original document, or click the gray button to view the details of the record. Here we've clicked on the View Details button to go into the page for this record. On the left, we have the green View button to go to the scan of the original document. A transcription of the document has been provided on this page to make the information easier to read. On the right, we have options for saving the document, which we'll discuss shortly. We've clicked on the green button to view the document. In this case, it's a record of marriages in the county of Halton. We've highlighted the part of the record that includes the subject of our search, Agnes Bessie. On the right side of the screen are tools you can use to change the size of the document by zooming in and out, making it full screen, or changing the positioning to make the document easier to read and navigate. At the bottom of this document is a film strip icon, which will bring up thumbnail images to navigate to other pages in this document. The icon to the right of the film strip and page numbers will bring up the transcribed details of the subject of the search as listed in the document. Returning to the main page for this record, we'll take a look at the details that have been transcribed. As the scans of original documents can sometimes be hard to read, it is helpful to have the information transcribed. Be cautious, however, as there can be errors with transcriptions. In the case of this record, the first name of the subject of our search has been spelled incorrectly in the transcription. There are a few ways to save a document that you want to keep as part of your family history research. When you're viewing an original document, you can click on the green button at the top right side of the screen. This will let you send a permanent link to the document to your email, or save a copy to the computer you are using for searching. From the main page of the record, you can also email a link to the document by clicking on the orange Send Document button. The View Printer Friendly button will open a transcribed version of the document that you can print or save to a USB or your computer. We hope this will help you view and save the records you find while discovering the story of your family's history. If you'd like to learn more about using Ancestry Library Edition with the Halton Hills Public Library, Look for additional videos in our Researching Your Family History series. Good luck with your research!